This program will demonstrate the correct method for applying unisolar PVL laminates to standing seam metal roof panels as part of the Energy Peak system. It is vitally important to the long-term performance of the system that these instructions be followed in all cases. If you have questions, please refer to the printed Energy Peak laminate application manual or contact Energy Peak. This video depicts the application of laminates in an indoor environment. The laminates may also be applied at the job site just prior to panel erection, as long as the temperature of the panels is between 50 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Before application, make sure that the standing seam roof profile is suitable. The panels must have a nominal 16-inch wide flat area between ribs with no pencil beads or stiffener ribs. Light striations with an angle of 15 degrees or less relative to horizontal are usually acceptable. The first sample panel is only 12 inches wide, obviously not an acceptable profile. This panel is 16 inches wide and has a flat surface between ribs, but this panel has shoulder ribs adjacent to each vertical leg, and the flat distance between these shoulder ribs is only about 14 inches, so it too is not a candidate for application of the laminates. This panel is 18 inches wide, and the area between the vertical legs doesn't have stiffener beads of any kind. It does have light striations across the full width of the panel, but these are less than 15 degree angles and are acceptable. This profile also has shoulder ribs, but the distance between the shoulder ribs is about 16 inches. The laminate can therefore be applied between these ribs. This last example is an 18 inch wide panel without any stiffener beads or striations of any kind. It is an ideal profile for application of the PVL laminates, so we'll use this panel for the remainder of the demonstration. The tools required for this project are readily available. A tape measure, an adjustable square, a utility knife and pencil, and a rolling tool with rubber wheels. Other rolling tools are acceptable as long as they are capable of applying pressure to the very edges of the laminate. Cleaning solution and rags are also required. An adequate work surface is important to the proper application of the laminates. The table must be at least as wide as the roof panels, but no more than 6 inches wider than the panel width to allow easy access to the laminates during application. It should be as rigid as possible, and as long as the longest roof panels that will receive laminates. To begin, lay one of the roof panels on the work table. Clean the panel thoroughly using an isopropyl alcohol solution diluted to 90% alcohol and 10% water. Be sure to clean the entire surface that is to receive the PVL laminate. If the roof panels have been stored outside, or if they have a significant amount of dirt, a more aggressive cleaning solution may be used. This solution of trisodium phosphate, laundry detergent, and water is detailed in the printed application manual. To apply the laminate, make pencil marks on the panel to indicate the correct location. In this case, the laminate is centered between the panel's vertical ribs and is located one inch below the top edge of the panel. Please consult the project drawings for actual laminate placement dimensions. Additional location marks are needed at the far end of the laminate's length for alignment purposes. Then, put a location mark two feet to three feet from the top end of the panel. Now, remove the solar laminate from its packaging and place it on the roof panel. Unroll the entire length and remove the paper covering and any tape on the face of the laminate. Dispose of this paper properly. Ideally, it should be recycled. Without removing any adhesive release paper, carefully place both ends of the laminate in the proper location using the pencil marks as guides. Once both ends are located properly, Pull back two or three feet at the top end of the laminate. Lightly score the release paper across its width, taking care not to score the adhesive itself. Remove the short length of paper and very carefully adhere this section of laminate to the panel using the pencil marks as guides. The far end of the laminate must be held in place on the marks during this process. 
The laminate's position will be fixed after adhering this short section, so make sure that it is located correctly and that the laminate doesn't move in any direction. After this short section is adhered, roll up the remaining length of laminate to the point where it has already adhered to the roof panel. Be careful not to roll the laminate to a diameter smaller than 18 inches. Begin to peel back the remaining release paper and then carefully lay the laminate into place, removing the release paper as the laminate is unrolled. Pay attention to the sideways location of the laminate as it is being unrolled to make sure that it doesn't drift from its proper placement. Once the entire laminate is in its proper location, roll it with a rubber wheeled rolling tool. The entire laminate must be rolled in both directions, lengthwise and widthwise, using a moderate to heavy pressure on the rolling tool. Ideally, the module should be rolled in the center first and from the center to the edges of the laminate. This is a critical step. Roller pressure must be applied to the entire surface of the laminate, including the entire length of all panel edges. Adhesion and rolling of the upper edge, near the wires, is especially important since this will often be the edge most exposed to the weather. The adhesive is pressure sensitive and it will reach its full bond strength to the panel after about 24 hours. If the laminates are applied in the shop and then shipped to the job site, an optional step is to apply a protective film to the exposed surface of the laminate to help protect it during shipping and erection. The laminate comes in a roll that is the same width as the solar laminates. Two people unroll the film to a few inches beyond the far edge of the laminate. Try to center the film so that it covers the full width of the laminate, but some small areas of uncovered laminate are to be expected at the edges. Cut the film to length and apply it to the laminate with moderate hand pressure. You may want to wear soft cotton gloves for this purpose. At the wire terminal location, simply slit the film at its center to a point just beyond the terminals. The film can now be placed around the wires and the wires can be retaped into place on top of the film. The laminate application is now complete and this integrated solar product is now ready for crating and shipping to the job site.